An uproar, swift backlash, and an apology tonight after a letter was sent to Hamilton Southeastern School's faculty members by their administration on Monday. The letter shares concerns from parents that discussion of the Black Lives Matter movement in the classroom is a distraction. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker shows us what the district is trying to do to make it right and how an apology is being met by some in the community. I just don't know how you fix what he's done. That's Alex Morales, an HSE parent and part of the Racial Equity Community Network. It's a group based in Fishers that works to get rid of cultural and racial misunderstandings. Despite the clarification and apology sent out by Superintendent Alan Borf, Alex thinks the damage is done. I don't know uh, really that there is a moving forward um, with him in particular. Uh, I think it's probably a good thing that uh, we're at this point where there is going to be a change. The initial letter sent to HSC faculty on Monday says a number of parents have shared concerns that educators are advancing the cause of Black Lives Matter and that students are, quote, being indoctrinated rather than taught. Borf then suggested the social movement be treated as a political issue. In the second letter sent out, Borf apologizes for the first message and calls Black Lives Matter one of the most significant issues of our time. Black and brown students are, are need to be in a safe space throughout the city of Fishers, but in school as well. So it really took us off guard to really to see that that, that was the response. Racial Equity Community Network says the initial letter seems to discourage teachers from discussing or supporting Black Lives Matter in the classroom. The group is asking everyone in their community to wear a black shirt all week in solidarity with the social movement. They hope more conversations and understanding will come from this, moving everyone forward together. It's a social justice movement that needs and demands change in policy and demands systemic changes uh, so that uh, we can continue to protect uh, uh, unarmed, in, in this case for Black Lives Matter, uh, unarmed, uh, innocent uh, black men and women and, and, and children from, from being murdered. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. We did ask Superintendent Borf if he would be available for an interview, but we were told no. The HSC school board is having a regularly scheduled meeting tomorrow. Because of social distancing restrictions, only five seats are available to the community, but the meeting is also streamed live online.